Hello and welcome to Rock the Casbah Block 18. This block is a nice, simple and fairly quick block. It starts off with this beautiful um, decorative motif fill, which we're then going to finish off with an inside applique piece and then applique on each of the edges. What I do like about the applique on these edges is that whilst it is a satin stitch, I've actually used a diamond motif satin stitch just to give that little bit of extra interest. We then finish the entire block off with a quilting design called Mr. Squiggle. And remember that not only do you get the block with the custom quilting, you also get a block of the quilting and you get the continuous quilting design which is perfect for any borders that you may want to do with these guys as well. Okay, let's get all of our fabrics together and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our embroiderous felt and place it on top of our cutaway poly mesh stabilizer. I've got my needle threaded with wash away thread and I'm going to stitch out colorway one which is going to stitch around that embroiderer's felt. From there I'm going to take my hoop off and what I want to do is trim closely around the design. Now you'll notice here that I'm using larger scissors and that is just because the embroiderer's felt and the wadding are both just that little bit too thick for the squeeze scissors that I use for my applique fabric. So we're going to come through and you can see I'm trimming really close to the line of our um, of our outline and this makes sure that we don't have any of the embroiderous felt in our seams. Now take your 100% cotton background fabric, lay it on top of that outline and then we're going to stitch colorway two still with the wash away thread. So stitch colorway two which is going to hold that top fabric down on top of the embroiderer's felt and the cutaway stabilizer. When you're doing this it's okay to smooth out with your fingers as you go along. And then as we come through we are just going to continue that smoothing. Always try and make sure that you've pressed your fabric before you begin and ideally lightly starched it as well. Okay, so this is block number 18 and the next part of this block that we're going to do is thread our needle with the thread that we're going to use and I'm using the deep pink coloured thread here and we're going to stitch colourway 3 which is the motif fill that provides the really background design for this stitching. Now don't be stressed about the speed that I am stitching at. I stitched this entire block at approximately five to six hundred stitches per minute but I've sped it up here so that you don't get bored as we are watching the video. Um, I'm using polyester thread I'm using an 1175 needle and I'm using regular bobbin fill. I don't like to use quilting cotton in the bobbin. You can do it when you do the quilting if you wish. I don't like to do it for all the regular stitching because I find it is just too bulky over the entire project. At the same time as this is stitching out, it's a great opportunity to prepare and press your applique fabrics ready to do the applique on our blocks. Now I'm loving the motif design here. It is a, um, and to best describe it, I guess it's a little flower in, a, in an octagon. 
um, and it's just it's one of my actual favorite motif designs I use it a lot in my work once we've done the motif we are then going to without changing color thread satin stitch right the way around this object um, just to finish off that design and the satin stitch I really like it gives gives the finish of it just a nice um, nice sexy finish okay and you can see here that we're preparing for the satin stitch and all of my satin stitches always have proper underlay on them so you can see there where it's gone around it's done the underlay now we're coming through and we're doing a satin because this stitch is not holding down any fabric I have not outlined it with the regular satin stitch finish trim that I normally do and I just love that deep pink color it's just such a luscious color okay so as we come along here And you can see there's actually quite a bit of detail within this element in the block as well. Now the colors that I'm going to use for applique, I'm going to start the middle block, which is the piece that we're going to do next. And I'm going to change my thread to being the dark teal thread. And then I'm going to stitch colorway four, which is going to outline where that applique is going to go You're using a scrap of the dark teal fabric I'm going to lay that over and stitch colorway 5 before coming through with my sharp squeeze scissors and because they're curved tip they are just perfect for trimming away and then stitch colorway 6 which is going to come through and add all of the satin detail because this is stitching on um, on an applique object I'm going to come through after the satin and do around the inside and outside of the satin stitch a triple stitch just to complete that um, that stitching and finish it beautifully other fabrics that I'm going to use in this block are the light teal and the wine colored fabrics you can see there we're just finishing that off and now I'm going to change my thread to my um, light teal colored thread and I'm going to use this light teal colored thread for all of the applique stitching here so colorway 7 outlines colorway 8 we lay the fabric down and we trim away the excess and then we are going to repeat that now as I come to the edge of the fabric you'll see that I have left about a, um, somewhere between a quarter and a half of an inch of fabric over the sides so that it will be caught up into our seams and that was colorway 9 and 10 which is going to come through we're now up to 11 12 so 11 outlines 12 holds down and we've got so then we'll do our trim away once again making sure that you're leaving um, fabric in the seam line we've got colorways 13 coming up and then 14 
and really it's just alternating these fabrics one after the other excuse my hand what I love about the curved scissors is just how precisely they do cut so colorway 15 and 16 with the teal in the bottom right hand corner and then trim away of course before we'll do colors 17 and 18 in the deep wine color so you can see whilst there aren't sorry whilst there are not a lot of um, color changes or even really a lot of stitching there are 27 color changes in this design okay we're now on to colorway 1920 which is again the teal and then 2021 sorry you can't see that I've just awkwardly pulled that through so colorway 21 is going to do the wine colored outline and colorway 22 is going to hold that down now we haven't changed a single color of thread there so we've still got our medium or light teal thread in the needle and now we can just go on and stitch out colorway 23 which is going to do the stitching on the teal and the stitching on the teal the stitch that I've used is a satin stitch however it is a diamond satin stitch just for something a little bit different if you are concerned about the um, the fabric sort of showing through you can use a fray stopper however I have not found that that was necessary I found this stitch even though it was a diamond stitch was still a great coverage for this block now whilst we're doing the um, the deep stitching this is a great time to start thinking about your backing fabric and your wadding so making sure both of those are um, prepared pressed if necessary the wadding that I have used is um, polyester wadding simply because it is what I had in my house you can use of course whatever type you would like so I've used um, a single type of backing on this quilt as I've recreated this using the smaller designs I've actually gone through and used scraps of fabric just to make it that little bit different okay Murphy's Law says we have to change our bobbin at some point doesn't it so excuse my arm and come through and almost finished with the medium or light teal color and then we're going to thread up our wine colored thread for the last of the decorative stitching on our block okay so let's go with the wine um, now questions that I get asked about this quilt collection um, the first one is do you have to do the quilting with it answer is absolutely no 
you can come through and once the decorative stitching is completed and before you would be putting your back backing on you can just stop the block there and you can piece it together however you wish that is totally up to you um, second questions that I get asked is um, do I have to use embroiderous felt no you don't the reason I use it is because I think it gives a better finish and I am all about the look of it I'm loving that embroiderous felt is really lightweight and therefore is just perfect for not adding a whole lot of extra bulk into the quilt but whether or not you choose to use it is totally up to you when it comes to quilting your design what thread you use to quilt it once again is totally up to you I like to quilt in my polyester embroidery thread I find it is strong enough I like it because I've got plenty of colors so I can always color match having said that if you are a cotton person and you want to use cotton go for it that is totally your prerogative you can see here the satin is just going to finish those two seam areas off beautifully okay we'll come through and do the third part and by this time we should have our backing fabrics ready and I do just love the way the machine stitches so an 1175 needle is what I used I used about um, three or four needles through the entire quilt process different ways that you can see when it's time to change your needles is um, for me when I have trouble with the automatic threader it's generally a um, a sign to me that I need to rethread or when the threads start shredding and we're coming through on the last um, corner segment and then we're going to do a little bit of decorative stitching just in the center of that applique block as well so one of the great things about this quilt block is that they come in multiple sizes so on my machine which is the Janome 15,000 at the moment I am stitching the 9 inch block and gotta go back and make sure that's all good there um, however the designs come in 9, 8, 7, 6 and 5 inch sizes so there is a size that will work for you um, as well as the quilt block with the quilting you also get the quilting design that you can use whenever you would like and this quilting design is called Mr. Squiggle and I just think it's a nice relaxed easy going kind of a design you also get the continuous quilting design and the continuous quilting design allows you to recreate um, continuous edge to edge quilting on your embroidery machine which of course you can watch our videos of at any point on julieholdesigns.com okay so we're into our inner blocks now and we're going to come through so by this time in the quilt this is block 18 and this is part of the seventh month of designs so by this time you should have half of your quilt all ready to go and I'm loving I've got mine on my wall up here and I'm just loving looking at it and I'm really using it as inspiration for encouraging me to do my um, to pick out what sort of borders I'm going to put on my quilt and 
almost finished with our satin stitches here. So in real life, this block took, it actually took a little longer than I had expected. It took about an hour 40 to complete, um, which did surprise me a little bit. However, the motif stitching does take a fair amount of time, as well as just the time it takes to trim away the different applique within the project. Okay, and our stitching's nearly finished. So what I'm gonna do is get my wash away thread ready again. And I'm going to thread the needle with the wash away thread, ready to put the wadding and the backing on. So first things first, I'm going to pull my hoop down and then I'm going to flip it over so that I can put the wadding on the back. Now what I find is, and of course I've got to do the trim up, what I find is that I do not need to use um, my magnets or anything. I'm finding that the hoop itself is enough to just pop that down. So I've got my wadding and I lay it over and I'm going to stitch out colorway 25 and then come through and trim away all of that excess fabric. If I then lay my backing fabric on and return the machine to the hoop, stitch colorway 26 still with the wash away thread on. And then we're going to thread up with our white thread, in my case, or whatever you are going to do your quilting with. So come through, thread with my white thread, and I'm going to have it do my quilting. And that quilts through all layers. It means that you don't see any of the applique on the back and just makes for a much nicer project and a more traditional looking quilt on the back as well. Once again, naturally, I have sped this up, but you can see how beautiful that quilting stitch is coming through. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. Here is our completed block. I'm loving the way the colors work together. If you are doing a smaller size block and you want a larger quilt, play with your colors and the blocks will look like totally different blocks. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.